Okay, this is just roughly mocked up. There's another half of this that's going to go on the other side to cover all this, but the only thing that'll be exposed is exposed is the gear is the gear set or the chain set on the outside. But anyway, the motor will be mounted through the back side here. Okay, and this shaft will be feeding that shaft there with this sprocket and the other there'll be another sprocket just like that on here but anyway that's your turn you can see how slow it is that's 25 to 1 reduction so there's that and here's the side that I'm most proud of because it turned out good but that's that's how we make it happen so we got 5 to 1 reduction coming in, coming through to this, going in. This is the input shaft of the other box, and that's spinning. So 5, five to 1 reduction and 5 to 1 reduction coming back out the other side to this one, which will then drive the crank set. That's, that's 25 to 1 right there. And then at the, at the crank, you're going to get about 2 to 1. So we're talking about 50-ish to 1 before it even hits the back wheel, so we should have humongous amounts of torque. <clears throat> One thing that I'm still working on is the seals on here. I don't know if it's because they're fresh and haven't been broken, but if I take the seal out, there's very little friction and it works great. If I put the seal in, there's a lot of friction, so I'm toying with the idea of <clears throat> taking the seal out and using a sealed bearing right there. Uh, it has sealed bearings everywhere except for on the output shaft. Um, so you can see when anywhere there's one of these large shafts like this with the splines, that that has a that has a seal back here. You can almost see it back there. Um, but anyway, I'm thinking about getting a, a sealed bearing and putting it back there instead of having that lip seal because those things are just terrible for friction. So if I take that out, these things will have very very little friction and uh, should work really well. All for about 60 bucks worth of materials so far, roughly, and then a $50 motor, and we should be able to produce upwards of 3,000 watts, hopefully. I mean, these motors, are these, these boxes are designed for like six, seven horsepower, five, at least five or six, but I mean, they, I think they use the same box all the way up to the 125cc motors, so anyway. That's where we're at so far, but so far so good. It's working pretty well. See ya.